Hey guys, welcome to a brake check walk around. My name is Brian and Craig's behind the camera. And we're how's just going? gonna show Hey, how's it going? We're just gonna show you about this truck. So come on and check it out. This is a 2020 F250 Power Stroke with 6.7 diesel. And more importantly, it's a trimmer package. And what that means is a bigger wheel and tire, a good dirt track, all terrain. These are really good in the mud. Um, not the quietest tire, but quiet enough for an OE application. The trimmer package has more ground clearance, has more uh, skid plate protection and better shock absorbers. So in theory, it rides better than a traditional one, off-road at least. This is a Lariat trim, so it does have the optional power running boards, which I think is pretty interesting. I'm not sure it's the best choice for a pure off-road scenario, but for what most people are doing with this, it's probably a nice option to have. Let's talk about the engine, shall we? This is the latest generation power stroke. It makes 475 horsepower and 1,050 foot-pounds of torque. It is a single turbo, and it seems to peak in its power band around 2,500 RPM, give or take. Um, it is mated to the 10-speed automatic, which is co-developed with General Motors, but it's now the bread and butter for Ford in most of its applications. It's anywhere from a four-cylinder Mustang all the way up to a heavy-duty application like this for towing. You do see that the tradition of embossing Super Duty and everything still exists right here on the hood, which I think is pretty cool. The 2020 is the new grill. The biggest difference between the grill is it has this angular cut, kind of a 45, instead of being squared out. The old one used to square out and go all the way around. Um, now, Craig, have you noticed something here? Hmm, what's that? The tow hook is black Ooh, instead of, yes. instead of red point. or orange, so I'm not sure if we can actually even use it. Does, does that even exist? I, I mean, if it's not red, does it count? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you can recover. Let us know below in the comments. Tell us below. All right. Coming on the side, you will notice that unlike the half ton options, you do get a full length bed. I think this is a 6.75 foot bed. So on a half ton configuration, that's an option to get the bigger one. This is the short bed on the 250 and F configuration. Because we have a diesel, the door gate is a little bit bigger. Diesel and def fluid. This is for the particulate filter to keep all that smoke and rolling coal out of the environment. I thought rolling coal was good. Uh, depends who you talk to. Oh. Yeah. Do hipsters like rolling coal? No, absolutely not. Okay. Uh, no, no. And neither do most people, to be honest with you. Oh, okay. It's kind of just smoky. But I guess it's fun. It's fun, but, you know, damaging. Anyways, besides the point, come look in here. So it's still a leaf sprung scenario out back. It has a big, beefy bump stop in here, which I'm pretty sure the standard use does not have that. This one definitely has... A pretty neat scenario and the bigger shocks down here but this is still a truck that can tow even though it's a trimmer package which is kind of bringing something raptor-esque as a package for the, the heavy-duty truck it still can tow on the bumper 15,000 pounds or in the gooseneck 21,000 pounds that's a lot it's a lot of weight the ram power wagon can't do that its power rating is not that high um, something else that this is pretty cool that it has is the kind of like a trunk on a car the wirelessly dropping tailgate and it is dampened you heard that coming down now i'm not a big fan of dampened tailgates i feel like they're uh, kind of unnecessary but they do exist for a reason this is the latest generation in the old man step as you can see here we're getting in the bed it doesn't exist um it's there i mean if you're going to be getting in and out and you have to have a bigger truck then i guess this is the option to have I will say, if this was not dampened, man, it'd be a heavy tailgate to drop every time. That's nice to have. That ladder makes it heavy. The ladder makes it heavy, for sure. Come look at the hitch. This thing is bulky. You'll see this is bigger than a two-inch receiver, and that's how it gets that 15,000-pound tail ready. You'd have a bigger, beefier piece of uh, stinger for your hitch. There is a sleeve you can put in here to allow a traditional two-inch receiver to go in there. You do have the uh, backup sensors, which is nice. This truck does have an overhead camera view, which is pretty cool. There's cameras here. Cameras the 360. Here. 360, that's the word I'm looking for. You have your four-way and your seven-way trailer wiring package. And let's see if it has any in the bed, I'm not sure. Is it LED lights? LED lights, yeah. The uh, cargo lamps, there's one up in here. It's pretty cool, I like that. It does have the indent for the gooseneck trailer hitch that you could add on there if you wanted it. Let's keep going. Now, one way you can tell if a Power Stroke or a, I mean, a Super Duty is either gas or diesel is the twin-tipped exhaust. 
the 7.3 or the 6.2 would have a single outlet. Now this is just wide right here. It's clearly a single exhaust to this point, but that's the only aesthetic besides the door emblem that tells you it's diesel or not. Keep on coming down. Something we didn't point out earlier was the, uh, the locking hubs up front. So there's auto and there's lock. This is something a half ton truck doesn't have anymore. And this basically means that the axle and the hub are connected to the wheel at all times. Okay, one more feature I want to talk about is that the Super Duty trimmer package can ford 32 inches of water. I Did said, you say Ford? I said Ford, not Dodge or Chevy or GMC. It can ford, and what that means is travel through a certain depth of water in off-road scenarios. 32 inches is what Ford rates this thing at. So Ford rates its fording scale at 32 inches. So for reference, a current Raptor only does 31 inches of water depth. So let's measure that out. That comes to just under Actually, it's right at the bottom of the L on the 6.7 liter mark. So for reference, that is halfway between my knee and my hip, and I'm 6'4", so just, just so you know. That is actually really high if you look at it. It's above the base of the cap, which tells you they've done a lot of sealing in this thing to make it work for that. Pretty cool. Oh, hey, how's it going? Good. Just doing a little overlanding in here. I can see that. Got my coffee pot plugged in. Keeping it warm, give me a fresh brew. Nice to have the. Uh... Hey, there's just there's just so much room in here. It's it's really spacious. You can lay out your sleeping bag. I've got me a camp chair in here to stay comfortable. Some fresh coffee, and of course, you know, a nice good coffee mug. But it's really nice in here. So why don't we kind of go through some of the things we've got? I'd like to show you. Of course, you got this nice step. You know, some people in their mobile home have a nice step coming out. You've got one on your Overland vehicle now. Um, get my sleeping bag out of the way, but. We got a nice seat that folds down, and sorry about the wind, but put a little lever, it comes down, it's split, 60, 40, 70, 30, whatever that is, you know, you can figure it out. Then you've got a nice little box here that pops up as well. This is kind of cool, it's kind of tricky, but um, you pull a little unlock button, it comes up, and it snaps into place, and you can put stuff in there, and it keeps it from, when you hit the brakes, it rolling all around. So you can put more camping gear, overlanding gear, or towing gear, whatever you'd like. Let's move to the front. Would you say the back is bigger than a 150 or about the same? I would say it's about the same, maybe slightly bigger. It's hard to, it's hard to say, but let's, let's come on in up here, okay? Then you get up to the front. Can we officially say it's Overland rated? I think it's Overland rated. You could definitely Overland rated. In fact, you could live in this. You would almost Forget have to. Overland, you could, you could live in this. Yeah, based on the price tag, you might have to live in it. One of, one of the great things I like about this is you have the wireless charging. You just set your phone there. You don't have to plug anything in, and it works flawlessly. And you have an Apple. I have an Android. I have the right phone. You have a they, phone. I have the right phone. They both work great. You just put it on, and it immediately starts really working. Do. You know, you got coffee in the back for your people in the back, uh, but if you're up on the front porch up in here, you can plug it in up here as well. You can do another coffee pot, so maybe a grinder so you can get a fresh grind. So that's nice. Would that help the hipster scale? We'll talk about that later. Okay. Um, you've got plenty of kind of little cubbies here. You've got Brian's wallet. I'm going to take that later. Um, and then you've got a nice little glove box for those that need work gloves, not driving gloves, work gloves. Uh, all kinds of bins and cubbies. You've got a 10-way passenger, 10-way driver. You can really get these seats comfortable. Um, we've got some nice wood trim here. we got it in the center. And then you've got the most important feature I think we all know and that I get in trouble for saying, but I've it's it's critical you know one thing about this truck is not only does it well I'll just say it, it has balls because it's a three-quarter ton and it's got a diesel but it also keeps your balls chilled right here ball chillers gotta have that and like every other Ford product you get the nice sync three um, and and it works doesn't work as well as we'd like in this truck but it works let's move over to the driver's side real quick I want to show you something over there it's a little bit of a height guy sorry about that it's a big truck Ooh, that coffee's fresh. Okay. Come over to the driver's side, you get more buttons. And you know on this channel we like buttons. So I want to show you over here you got buttons for memory seats. That's nice. And you got different people driving your truck. You've got mirrors. This extends your mirrors out and in. So if you've got a wide load, you can catch that. And then you've got more buttons over here. Continuing in, you've got buttons for the pedals, which Ford is really good about this. You can get in the perfect driving position with that. 
And then he's also moving up, there's more buttons. You want to see to the side of your truck at night? Hit those buttons, it puts a light to the side. Spotlights. Pretty cool, spotlights. Interior. Um, one of the neat things about this is it has, uh, Brian's got the key, so he's messing me up. But here we go. So we got the key, and we're going to get this sucker started. But here's what I like. First off, it tells you it's built for tough, and that's important because you want to know that it's tough. But looking here at the instrument panel, I don't know if you can get a good view on that, you can get it focused. One thing you notice about the speedometer is it says 100 miles an hour. Most vehicles go higher than that. But in a diesel truck, your tack doesn't go very far. These are in the same ratio now. They're much closer. So it doesn't, it's not See, smaller. So in, in the sweep of the needle. The sweep of the needle is more proportionate. It looks really good. Of course, you got turbo gauges, you got all kinds of other gauges, and you can do just about anything you want in here. Now, the steering column is also powered on this. Steering wheel, so steering as you wheel turn power, it off, turn it off. goes up and away, and the seat goes back. Out. That's a nice feature. You got trailer backup on the F-250. That's fairly new. I think that came out last year. So this can, you can do the trailer backup with that. You've got your trailer brake control. And then of course you've got your four wheel drive control, electronic diff, four high, four low. So that's pretty much the interior.